and a warm welcome to News Across Nigeria. I'm Melinda Kinlami. Coming up on the program, groups in Basa, local government area of Pakistan State, agree to leave in peace after a meeting between the governor and their leaders. More health facilities to get a facelift in Bialsa State. and the Ogun State Government to build a new polytechnic in Ipokia. We begin today's program on a good note as leaders of the warring communities in Anchab village in Plateau State, northern Nigeria, have agreed to work together to ensure that peace returns to their communities. The leaders came to this resolution during a meeting called by the governor, Simon Lalong. Plateau State prides itself as a home of peace and tourism. But that does not seem to represent its current circumstances, at least not with the killing of over 20 people at Ancha village in Miango district of Basa local government area of the state, following an attack by suspected herdsmen on the locals. <laughs> But to get the name back and forestall another deadly attack is the reason for this meeting convened by the governor, Simon Malong, with the leaders of the two communities and the heads of security agencies in the state. Whoever is found guilty in this thing should be prosecuted immediately. We are already creating the enabling environment. Not when they arrest the put tomorrow, the person is set free. I think, I don't think it will be under this administration. If you are found guilty, you will pass the law. That's the only thing that we can do to have peace where anybody feels that is cheated. The governor is not alone in the call for justice. The leaders of the various groups also want peace to prevail. We condemn this dastardly act in its totality. And we will join hands together to fight this menace as a, a house. We will not inspire anybody who is involved in this act, whoever he is. And we will try as much as possible to fish out the perpetrators. Trouble, no matter how little it is, once it is packed, you don't know how it will end. That is exactly what happened in this case. Plateau is a state of peace. It's very painful that these things are happening like this at this time and nobody is happy with it. And so we pray that everyone will do his duty or do his work so that these bad eggs will be fished out. While the warring parties have agreed to sheath their sword in the interest of peace, one hopes that this will go a long way in putting a permanent end to such acts of man's inhumanity to human. And from the north, let's move to the southeastern part of Nigeria. Now in Abia State, residents in Aba are staying indoors between 6 p.m. and 6 a.m. as Governor Okeze Piazu announced a curfew yesterday until September the 14th, following the clash between the army and pro Biafra agitators. The military had staged a show of force at an area believed to be the ancestral home of the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Namdi Kanu, on Sunday. But well, the governor is now calling on both sides to err on the side of caution. For an update on the current situation in Abia State, we are now being joined on News Across Nigeria by Ayin Naya Apollos, who is the Chief Press Secretary to the Abia State Governor. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very much. What's the situation right now in Aba, the commercial nerve center of Abia State? We just lost Mr. Apollos, but we'll we will try to re-establish contact with him. Let's move on now to Imo State, where the Imo Police Command have arrested a 16-year-old boy who is allegedly one of the major suppliers of arms to the gang that kidnapped and murdered the late Reverend Father Dirashas Onoko. Onyedikachi Iyaka is also alleged to be involved in terrorism, arm robbery, and gun running. The State Commissioner of Police, Chris Ezike, told journalists that different weapons were found on the suspect who was arrested in the North local government area by the Special Anti-Robbery Squad. 
18 officers involved in the arrest of suspects who kidnapped and murdered the Reverend Father have also been rewarded by the police commissioner. And let's move now to Bialsa State, where Governor Seaki Dixon has ordered a total rehabilitation of all government hospitals in the state. This instruction was given during a media chat with journalists in Yanagua, the Bialsa State capital. This hospital is one of the abandoned projects from past administrations in Bialsa State. However, respite is now coming the way of the indigents as the state government is set to rebuild the hospital which is said to have a 500-bed capacity. The 350-bed hospital, they say 500-bed, 350-bed it was restructured to be. By next year, we are going to open and utilize that hospital. And then, uh, we have the governor of the state, Sarah K. Dixon, also reiterated his commitment on improving electricity and infrastructure. A number of communities we are electrifying, jobs are going on, sometimes not with the speed that we would want because of funding constraints. If the assurances given by the Bielsa State Governor is anything to go by, then the indigents of the state can rest assured of better days ahead. We've been able to re-establish contact with Mr. Ininaya Apollos, who is the Chief Press Secretary to the Abia State Governor. Thank you so much for joining us on the program. Thank you very much. What is the situation right now in Abba? Okay, Aban is calm. Uh, uh, people have uh, returned to their businesses this morning. As a matter of fact, uh, there was really no much uh, situation in Abai yesterday, only that the, the governor decided, because Abba being a, a metropolitan uh, city, um, and Abba has a history, that um, if there is any crisis going on in Abba, it spills into other parts of the eastern part of the country. So when uh, members of ICOM were unable to access Umaha yesterday as they were coming and the military stopped them at the airspread, so they retorted on their way back to Aba, there were reports that they were being violent. That was why the governor yesterday um, declared uh, the curfew within the hours of 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. for three days. That is to allow the security agencies to have a clearer view of the city and uh, to also enable them to do their job. And that was also a way of working the psychology of the people because when you ask them to go home and relax to the next day, they will be able to calm their, uh, their stress now and uh, will be able to ask themselves whether they are really need for them to be on the streets. But as at this morning, Abba has returned normal. The normalcy has returned to the city and people are moving about their normal businesses in Abba. And there is definitely no problem again in Abba and around that yesterday this morning. So you can say that the curfew was... Effective. Sorry? Is it, you can say the curfew imposed by the governor is effective. Yeah, 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 it is. And, you know, it's a three-day thing. It will also continue this evening till tomorrow just for us to ensure that um, no problem will uh, come up from any part of the city. Well, what about security? You, you know you can't leave anything to chance. Because just when you well, think everything is okay, something ugly can just raise its head up. Well, the security of the place is, there's no problem with the security of the place, only that, of course, you know, for reasons pertinent to the federal government, they deploy soldiers in the entire southeast for what they call the uh, Operation uh, Python Dance. Too. So, if you see military moving around, it's as a result of that exercise that they are doing currently in Abia, uh, in Abia and the other parts of the southeast. What about business? You know, Igbo people and especially the people of Abba, they are very industrious people. I'm sure making them close shop at that time will not really be funny right now. Well, well, uh, we will not for the reasons of uh, business gain of any individual to jeopardize the entire city, uh, to jeopardize the entire speech and security of the entire city. We understand that, uh, yeah, their businesses were affected within the hours of that 6 p.m. Uh, till late in the evening because Abba is a business town like you mentioned where people treat sometimes all through the night. But we are pulling to them to show understand and understand with the governor the government for this time. It's just a three day thing. One day is already gone. We are sure maybe by tomorrow if the situation is quite put under under control, uh, the the government may re relax it. But for now that is the situation. And I think our people here they understand because and they are cooperating as well.
That's good to hear. Thank you so much for speaking with us on News Across Nigeria. Mr. E. Naya Apollos is the Chief Press Secretary to the Abia State Governor. We'll continue that conversation with the Commissioner of Police in Abia State when we return on News Across Nigeria. Stay with us.